So I'm doing like the organic pre-workout again from Sprouts. This is like the E-Boost, whatever. This is the Tropical Punch flavor. Last time I did the Berry Minute Melon Fizz. Uh, I'm not shaking it up. I didn't shake it up this time. I lightly stirred it and it worked out a lot better. Oh. And I also added like five milligrams of beta alanine. So this way it's a very, it's more natural, organic. There's not as many chemicals. And um, well, I'll let you know what I think after. Are you ready? I can fly. <laughs> so today in the gym, like I said with the workout program, how it goes lower body, upper body, yoga, lower body, upper body, I'm on that second lower body day. Um, I've been really liking the gym workouts. They've been intense, I've been sweating, it's been really good. I like this kind of like lower and upper body split. Uh, the last yoga session, kind of like prehab session was really good too. So I'm kind of stoked to stick with this for the next few weeks. I am gonna be tailoring it off this week because at the end next weekend, I have a, a trial over, I don't wanna say where, but I have a trial. Um, so I'm gonna tailor off the workouts just so my body feels more fresh for that. That's something I always do when it comes to trials or or pre-seasons or anything or games. You know, you tailor off the workouts a little bit right before so you feel a bit more fresh. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for that. Soccer's going well, the workouts are going well, everything's going really well, and I'm really, really feeling confident for this trial coming up. So in this workout, I started off by hopping on the bike just for five minutes, just to get the blood flowing, get me warm, and then I went into the actual like intense cardio for this for this gym session. And now over the last two weeks, I've been doing like three or four cardio sessions, kind of ramping it up, getting it harder and harder, um, just to kind of prepare for this uh, this weekend coming up. So what I did is I hopped on the treadmill, did some dynamic, you know, just some stretching for a little bit, like a couple minutes, just do some quad stretches, some hamstring stretches, some side lunges, leg swings, all that stuff. So I was really feeling warm. And then I just did like an eight mile per hour jog on a flat surface for about five minutes. So after this, now I'm, I'm sweating, I'm feeling really warm and I'm ready to go. Um, I was texting on this point, so don't, don't text and run on the treadmill. It's pretty stupid, but anyway, the workout is I raised this up to 12% incline. This is John Terry's workout that he posted to his Instagram um, that he used to get pre kind of prepare for preseason. So if he's going to do it, uh, it's a great workout. So I kind of copied it up off him, but 12% incline. It's 11.2 miles per hour or 18 kilometers an hour. And then you do this for 20 seconds on. So this is a 20 second run right here. After 20 seconds, you hop off on the side and you rest for 40 seconds. So I'm about to end the run right here. I'm gonna hop off and boom, then you rest for 40 seconds. So for a total of a minute, um, after your 40 second rest, you just repeat over again and do the exact same thing, hop back on the treadmill and then do the same run, same speed, all that stuff again. And in total, you're gonna do 15 sets. So when I first did this about two weeks ago, I did 13 sets and it was really hard. John Terry said that he did 15 sets and it was a killer workout. So I did 13 sets, it was really hard, I stopped. The next day or the next session I did, um, next time I did it, I did 15 sets and it was really hard. Then I did 15 sets again and it was a little bit easier. And then this session I did 15 sets and I don't wanna say it was a breeze, like I was breathing hard, I was drenched in sweat, like it was a really tough workout, but I never felt like I was like, oh my God, this is killing me. I felt like it's a good cardio workout, good good workout, like I was just like, this is good. So I'm feeling like now I'm, I'm really fit super confident going into the trial. Um, yeah, I'm, I've always been, you know, kind of ramping up the cardio just to see how it is. And I love doing these kind of workouts to really test yourself because you know, it's like, you know, I've done this before. I've done like 18 to 20 sets of this and felt really good at like my peak fitness. So being able to do the like 15 sets of this kind of easily just kind of shows that I'm ready. So after that, after that time, after that full workout, it's a very plyometric kind of base workout. So I did uh, box jumps and this is five by five with the box jumps. Um, good, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm pretty far back and people ask like, why are you so far back? Just so to make it harder, you know, I have to jump farther, I have to jump higher up for this box. And it was really good, five by five, longer rest in between because we're going for power. It's not like a cardio workout here, but it was tiring. After that, we supersetted um, single leg glute bridges with a med ball groin squeezes. So the single leg glute bridge is just this really good unilateral exercise for one side of your body. After I did one set, switched over to the right leg, did the same exact thing, focusing on activating and squeezing my glute. 
That's why I'm like kind of like touching it because it just helps me mentally work on squeezing that muscle. Um, I did three sets um, of 10 reps with each leg. And then I went on to the med ball groin squeezes, which I did for three sets for 20 seconds. And I like kind of doing this, like I, my first lower body leg workout, um, I think it was in a past video, but if you guys saw, it's like more heavy weight, it's uh, powerful. And then this one is kind of more, not prehab, but it's more like isometric. It's more like unilateral stuff. It's really good. And the groin squeezes is a great exercise for your groin, obviously, but I'm doing this not only as rehab, but you know, you want to strengthen up your entire body as one so that's a good way to strengthen the groin which i didn't really do before my groin injury and it's probably right why my groin got injured because i never really did any groin exercises at all i was just kind of focused on the quads the glutes the ham the hamstrings and the calves this exercise right here is a great one it was single leg rdl to jumps um i did three sets of five on for each leg and i supersetted that with this and this right here is copenhagen dip so put my knee up on like a little about I don't know two three feet and then I just kind of like dip my hips and then squeezed up again this is a really good exercise for the groin um, I'm, I'm doing tons of exercise with groin and the, the glutes and stuff just because you know I, a lot of time in the in the past I've just focused on the big muscles and not like those smaller exercises that I think kind of led to some of my injuries um, completely in balance is my goal though everything strong everything firing everything good after that, I uh, supersetted, no, actually after that, I just did planks. So I did planks for three sets of 60 seconds that you just saw, just classic planks. And then I did three sets of 20 for each side for those clamshells. Again, a glute exercise is very simple, but I'm just focusing on squeezing and activating the glute. Finally, I finished up with some calf raises. I just put on 245s on each side, and then I did four sets of 12 reps, and that was the workout. So I think I'm gonna do a voiceover about that gym session to really talk about what I did in there. But um, as far as the cardio went, with the John Terry cardio like program that I did with the 12% incline and the 20 seconds on, 40 seconds off, I did all 15 sets and really, like that was the best I've ever felt doing it. Um, I only got really got tired on the last like two sets and usually I'm starting to get tired around set eight, set nine. So to go all the way through 15 and really not be like exhausted was really, really good. I'm pumped about that. It just means that my fitness is going up because I've done that now four times I'm probably gonna do it once or two more times and then I'll probably taper off while I get ready for this trial um, coming up this weekend so I have like five days so yeah five six days until uh, the first day so that's like the general plan but feeling really really good I got a good warm up in. I got juggling right, so I'm feeling kind of like technically sound right now. So I'm gonna jump in the first row, which is gonna be a figure eight. It might be hard to see, but it's just one small circle and then one bigger circle. The smaller circle probably has like a five yard diameter and the larger circle probably has about a 10 yard diameter. All I'm gonna do is exactly what it sounds like, go around the figure eight and come right back down. For this drill, I'll be using the outside of my foot the entire time. So whenever I'm going in the clockwise direction, I'll be using the outside of my right foot to dribble. And whenever I'm going in the counterclockwise direction, I'll always be using the outside of my left foot to dribble. I'm gonna go five sets going each direction around the figure eight, and then I'll go on the next drill.
The next drill we got is just a triangle drill. Super simple. It's literally an equilateral triangle. You're going to start at the base of it and just go around all three corners back to the center. Um, I'm going to go five sets again with the right going, what is that, clockwise, and then five sets with the left going counterclockwise. Outside the foot, sharp cuts, quick, exploding out of each turn. I think for the trial what I'll do is I'm just going to try to save my Vapor 11s until the trial and then try to use those during the two days of the trial and hope they don't break. If I do break then these are a good backup plan and then long term I'll try to break in the Adidas and see how those feel but there's no way those will be ready by this weekend but maybe um, further trials down the, uh, down the road. But yeah I mean this is... I feel like always, every single time, right when I'm breaking in a new pair of, of uh, boots or cleats, it's right when a trial or something important is coming up. I need to plan that better or do something. It's so frustrating. I've never done this third drill before, so we'll just test it out. Basically, I'm just going to do like a five-yard dribble at this first triple cones right here. I'm going to do a step over and then either push it to the left or to the right. And then whichever way I go, all I'm going to do next is a 20-yard gated sprint straight through, the, straight through the lane of cones all the way down as fast as I can while keeping the ball in control either with the right foot or the left foot. And I'm going to do, I'm, I'm only going to do four sets each foot because this is a, probably going to be a tiring one. So that was a training session. It was about an hour, an hour out here, including the warm up, the juggling, and then all three drills. So super short, sharp, really good. A really cardio, like intensive. I was breathing hard, like high intensity intervals. So super good one. I really like this last one with the step over into the to the lane sprint. Um, you should, yeah, try that one out. Uh, that's gonna be it for here. I'm gonna head back home real quick and get something to eat. So we are headed out. What are we doing, Mimi? Where are we going? We're going to a thrift store. We're getting a gift for your grandma because it's her birthday. We're going to Target. And we're going to Target because we need toothpaste. So, tons of fun stuff on the agenda for today. I've been living off of Tester <laughs> toothpaste for like two months now. God, we we're so lame. So, we're about halfway through the chores. I needed some sustenance, so we went and grabbed Chipotle. Chores? This is fun. Do you really find this fun? Yeah. That's good. Are you I kidding mean, me? I think that's good that you find that fun though. Home goods in Target? <laughs> that's like Disneyland. Yeah, we're at Target right now. We gotta get, what do we have to get at Target? A gift for your grandma because we still haven't got something. Toothpaste. And a pillow that will match that, but that's a little different. Okay. <laughs> First, Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Stop eating all my chips. No. <laughs> all right. Successful trip to Target. You didn't get anything? <laughs> <laughs> so I literally I've just been I've just been working. I mean afternoon into the night is pretty much like my time to sit down at the computer, do emails and make Instagram videos and make YouTube videos and make programs and do all this stuff for people. Um, so I'm, I mean, this is what I'm doing I, for the trial. I'm literally just kind of ramping up cardio a little bit. Um, my weight's been dropping down slightly just because I'm doing a little bit more cardio. Diet's been same old as everything, been healthy. Oh, of 
course. I'm gonna call somebody here now. <laughs> but real quick, going into any trial, you know, uh, I talk about, uh, people will ask me how to prepare for these trials, prepare for everything. If you're just doing everything right, you know, your diet's always on, on point. You're doing the simple cardio just to make final touches to get a little bit more fit. You know, your training's sharp, you're feeling good all the time. These trials, I mean, yeah, like you can have a bad trial, but usually if you put in the work, you go in confident and you'll have a good trial. I mean, that's usually how it works. If you prepare the right way, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be good at the trial or be good wherever you need to perform. So that's my mentality. So, you know, it's I get excited, I get butterflies always all the time before these things, but in terms of nervousness, it's not nervousness. I've been around the game, I've done so many of these trials, I've done, you know, gone over and done in tons of different countries. So, I'm feeling good, you know, whether the coach actually sees me and his team, whether it's the right fit, whether, you know, all the other variables that come along, we'll see. But in terms of how I'm feeling mentally, physically, technically, all that stuff, great. Super stoked for it. I think you guys will see one more video before I actually leave. And then um, I'll kind of take you along to the trial, show you not behind the scenes of it at all, because obviously I'm going to be focused on that, but I'll show you kind of like my thoughts going into it, my diet, you know, how the, the flight over there is, everything about that. So I'm looking forward to showing you that. That's going to be exciting. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Stop.